I ask you, how many people can pull off nuns second lining at their funeral? Evelyn was the ballast to well. That's Frank standing on the bass fiddle. And as the story goes, I, Your bass fiddle curves there. Can't you stand on the bass fiddle? He said, I never heard of that. Nobody ever stands on the bass fiddle. I said, I bet you could. As many an immigrant son, you applied yourself to a trade, but shoemaking was not where you would shine. Against your pop's wishes, you snuck into clubs to pick up tricks from the players. And it paid off. Reg Kehoe gave you a taste of the big time. And the pics of your cronies from that day scream how truly amazing they must have been. As the glory days of Atlantic City faded, you and Evelyn opened the green terrace. It was a classy lounge with a circus decor. Those were the good old days. I wish they were back. And in time, you became chief jester of your own court. It is well documented that you had a propensity to Bronx cheer on cue, a gastronomic guffaw that would make a lesser man blush. But not you. You trademarked it. Always going for funny. How about the bit where during a furious bass solo, your toupee would flip its lid. The music would stop, then a band member would cap its ass and stomp on it for good measure. As time marched on, so did you. All over Hershey Park with your German variety band. Until one rainy day, you marched the boys into the fest house and got the joint of jumping. From that day on, you had a new home. When you and Grandma moved next door, I got to know you well. Over many a nightcap and reruns of the Jeffersons, you would resound us time and again with your old standby. You're a jackass. I said, aren't you ashamed of yourself? No, it was a chair. I, I just moved a chair and it made that noise. It would always make me giggle how you'd plant plastic lilacs in the garden to offset the greenery. At 89, you quipped, You sound like an old person, to quell Grandma's concern over the weather. Musicians have said, Frank, he's just an entertainer. But at 93, in the dusk of your day, you had a contract stashed in your pocket. Touché. And as you would have wanted it, it's time to shine a little of the spotlight on your wife, because without her, you would have been hard-pressed to chronicle such a technicolor life. He was funny. <laughs>